6616. Um, we parked over here by uh, Starbucks. I'm going to walk over to Walmart here in a minute and get me a couple of things for when we're traveling down the road. I guess we're going to uh, be sitting here waiting to uh, get a load out of here now. And when you're in California, you don't know where you're going to get a load going to. Um, I just know I'm looking forward to uh, going to the next place, wherever that is. But I'm going to tell you, man, things are strange no matter where you go. One thing I noticed being here, you see a lot of women that kind of look like men. And you see a lot of men that kind of act like women. Um, these are definitely the end times here, people. You know? And I ain't focused on just uh, homosexuality, saying that that's the root of it all, because it's not. The, it's all sin. It's all stinking thinking. And that's what people have to remember, you know? Um, they're the frosting on the cake, you know, like in the days of Noah, uh, when Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed. Uh, just remember, God didn't love it. If he would have loved it, he wouldn't have destroyed all that then. You know, this is pure evil at work. A lot of these people, you have to understand this, there's like that Jezebel spirit even getting into women, making them uh, flaunt themselves to where men will look at them. I don't even stare at them, you know. I, they might catch my eye and I'll look and I'll be thinking, boy, that's that spirit. You know, and they're trying. what they're trying to do, because it says in the Bible, God knows what's in your mind and your heart. So when you're staring at these women that are wanting you to stare at them um, and you lust after them um, that's like as if you had a relationship with them God doesn't want that you know we have to overcome all these things and it's all around us in the worst way you can imagine man what we need to do is be focused on uh, our Lord Jesus Christ because we're getting ready to get out of here times at hand um very wicked here today, man. Very wicked. And most of these people, they're not going to understand. You know, they look at us like we're crazy, okay? But we see changes taking places. Even written words that are in the Bible that have changed. Um, the only way I can think of how those are changing is the dimension that we're in. Um, it's... Uh, It's as if it's changing, you know, to where, uh, like into another dimension, you know, because how else could that stuff change? But anyhow, um, CERN, they're opening up like a portal, and what's going to happen, people think that, oh man, those people are acting stupid, they're acting crazy, what kind of dancing is that? These people got demons in them, you know? And people are making jokes about it, saying, oh, they can't dance, and, you know, like it's something stupid, silly. Let me tell you something. It's not a joke. It's very real. And whatever dance it is, it's from another world. It's not from what you, we would generally be thinking of. This is the evil that's at hand, and these are demons that are hosting people. And these people can't help it. They literally cannot help it. These are demons that are hosting them. That's why I've had some people just stop and look at me. Like the other day in a grocery store, this lady started coming down the aisle and she's seen me. And, and she just looked like she wanted to rip my head off, man, and kill me. Um, worst look, you know, and I looked at her and she just kept staring at me like that with that hate, hate look. And uh, it's the time we're in, people. Just be ready for it. Don't be at all surprised um, for what's about to happen. You know, I'm looking forward to this being over. Um, but don't be, uh, don't be at all surprised, you know, when more people aren't listening. That's why I say it would be nice if we could get a gathering of us together where we could all be more together. 
it's it's hard to find it, you know. And I see a lot of these people in the churches even. Um, a lot of these people, I'd have to label them foolish or lukewarm. Because when I try to talk to them, they don't want to hear what I got to say. They don't even want it, nothing, you know, because they just feel like I'm saved. You know, don't know about you, but I am. You know, they got that. I don't know how you describe it, short of just saying uh, heartless. You know, I guess that's the reason why I never even cared for ch going to church years ago. You know, because I never felt like I fit in. You know, like they separated themselves long ago from the world, the, the people that are in it. Jesus Christ said, take care of my sheep. He didn't say start up your own little fan club. You know, and... Uh, and if you don't go into their churches, you don't feel like you belong. Well, today, they want you to come into their churches, and they'll accept you in any kind of way. Just come into their churches. And you got to love them. you got to love them all. You know, it's totally twisted. It's very twisted. Um, when Jesus comes back and gets this thing going again, it's going to be... You know, we're going to learn everything the right way. It'll be a beautiful thing. It'll be a nice thing. People won't be nothing like this. Children will be... That's why you see graffiti everywhere, written on the walls everywhere, like it's all trash. Because, I mean, can you imagine being brought up into this world? You see everything as fast as it's going, man. It's going fast. It's going so fast, people ain't even paying attention to what's getting ready to happen. You know? And you look out there and you go, man, you know, how did they get out there to draw that graffiti everywhere? It's everywhere. It's like trash. And nobody's seen that either, you know. And we're seeing changes in our Bibles, changes in everything, you know. Before they uh, made uh, homosexuality legal, um, i never seen so many of them. Now it's like they're they're popping up out of the woodwork, and what it is, it's demons in them, spirits, just like that Jezebel spirit, you know, where women want to flaunt themselves and be looked at. You know, they don't realize they're in a lot of trouble for this stuff. They're not all that way, but you can see a lot of them everywhere. I'm sure when I go into this Walmart over here, there's gonna be tons of them. But anyhow, you guys, just stay focused, man, because I believe we're at the end. I believe the reason why I got this job even traveling, they said, you know, in the end times, one will be taken and the other will be left. Um, it's all around us, man. Just stay stay sharp. Stay cool. Um, don't be getting upset with nothing and just get ready to go. This place is like so uh, unreal, man. But this guy I'm traveling with here, man, I just got to keep my words to a very minimal with him. Very minimal. Because it doesn't matter what you do. Like now I'm going to get ready to walk into this store here. And when I come back, if he's back here before I get back, he'll be freaking out. You know, I mean, that's just the way he is. Um... You know, he freaks out about everything. And if I drive over there and park and then go in, it doesn't matter what I do. It's not gonna, It won't be a good result, you know. But anyhow, let me get out of here. And uh, um, like I said, keep you calm. And Because uh, remember what it says in Daniel 7. A lot of us are going to be tested. This is the saints that are being uh, tested, our you know, they're constantly trying to attack us. In our, if not in our dreams, they're constantly attacking us while we're awake even. You know, and hopefully the Lord's going to get us out of here before it gets much worse than this. God bless you. Be with the Holy Spirit. Remember, don't deny the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A lot of people are talking about God this and God that, but it's Jesus Christ that came here to start a personal relationship with us. The Son of God. Okay? And remember what Jesus said, nobody comes to the Father but through me. And those that don't accept the Son, the Father's not going to accept him either. You know, so remember, we've got to keep it to Jesus Christ. God bless you.